Hey girl, hey, it's Miss Philly. I wanted to do a thrift haul. It's nothing big, it's just kind of an accumulation of crap. <laughs> nothing too high end, nothing even like really big designer or whatever, but um, oh my gosh. Yesterday when I was out, I got caught in the rain. Like, um, okay, I was like, the wind almost carried me off and I'm like 350 pounds, okay? It takes a lot of wind to carry all this. So I'm gonna insert that clip right here. Okay, nothing a little bit of a rain will do. Oh my God, my car. Hold on. Let's go. The open door, oh my God, my door won't open. Is this even my car? Is this my car? My phone's all wet. It'll also be available on my vlog channel, so you'll see more of uh, the aftermath of that little fiasco. <laughs> but, um, oh, I also got some questions regarding my uh, rings that I've been wearing. Um, I ordered some stuff, so I want to do kind of collective haul of the rings I got. So it's from a company called Winter Wind Collection, and they're awesome. They're a Canadian company, and I've been wearing these rings for, for a while, and this is like a handprint one, and I'm loving them a lot. So, but... This, that's a separate video. I'll do a video once my my order comes in. Okay, so the first thing that I thrifted was this um, Canada Goose women's ladies uh, shirt. It's authentic because um, anything made after 2007 or 2006 will have a hologram. So yeah, that is authentic. And I think these retail for maybe $60. So they're quite expensive. And I got this for under 10 And it actually sold for 20 Kind of a little bit less than what I wanted. But I mean, I doubled my money. You can't go wrong with that, right? But um, yeah. It's really a really good brand. It's a really big brand in Canada. Their jackets are really expensive. They can range from like 500 minimum to over $1,000. So it's very expensive. So yeah, that was from Savers I got. These I got from Savers, I think too. But these, are, these were a little bit more expensive. These were, I think, $4.99, which is still relatively cheap, but whatever. Um, I got Cinderella on Blu-ray. I've seen this movie before. I love it. And it's brand new. I think I'm going to keep it. <laughs> this one I picked up. I already have this, actually, in my collection up there. But I decided to pick it up because it was so, well, inexpensive, $4.99. But still, I usually pay, like, $2.99. Anyway, I picked that up, too. It's brand new, sealed. I might sell this. Okay, so I went to Salvation Army. I don't usually go to Salvation Army anymore because I usually never find anything and I find like I'm wasting my time. But I actually went and found some stuff. I actually found nothing. <laughs> I found these two things. Um, I found this clear case. It was like 99 cents, whatevs. But it's a carry. It's carry on compliant for airlines. And yeah, so I'm gonna put and stuff all my crap in here, like my liquids, my seminal liquids. I'm gonna stuff it in here. But, um, yeah, hopefully it fits. <laughs> That's what she said, right? <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to put in here. I guess my foundation, perfume, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But, no yeah, nonsense. It's, it, and it's classy looking, right, rather than like a Ziploc bag. And then I found this Canon case. It was $3. And the, I don't know. The uh, strap is inside here too. I wasn't going to get it if there was no strap, but it's there. For a Canon case, it's a good deal. I was going to resell it, but I'm actually going to keep it because I plan on getting that small G7X Canon that has like the flip up screen. I think it will fit in here. And that's an expensive camera. I have it in my Amazon cart for like, it's like $700, but I saved it for later and hopefully I can get it once, you know, Miss Philly gets some money. And then I went to a different Salvation Army on uh, like all the way on Pemina it's like really far from me like half an hour or more and I got okay I'm gonna insert a clip because I got this Danny leather bag it actually just sold so I paid $12.50 no tax and it sold for $51 which was a good profit right there I don't know she was kind of looking at me like she didn't want it but I mean I posted all the correct pictures and detailed pictures of it so you best to believe Miss Philly got her money from that same Salvation Army I purchased this Danny leather bag 
and it's cute it's nice it's a little bit better quality than the last Daniel leather bag that the clip that I just showed and I have this posted right now online and Daniel leather is a really was a really popular company in Canada and they specialized in leather goods but they're defunct now they closed down and liquidated everything so it's it's really hard to find Daniel leather bags unless you go the second hand uh, market or route and it's really cute it's this this one is better quality than the other one it's a little bit thicker and the inside is a Nassar too. Let's see. It's just a typical hobo bag. The only thing is one of the leather tabs is missing, but it's it's no biggie. And there's a little bit of smoothing in the corners, but I can fix that up with leather conditioner. I'm hoping to get about forty to fifty dollars on that. And I paid twenty-five for that. So I paid a little bit more <laughs> for that bag. But it is in better quality condition than the other Daniel leather bag. Then from that same was it from the same? Oh yeah, from that same thrift store, I got this Coach wallet. This was like the a huge deal, like bargain deal. Um, it's a Safiano leather Coach wallet, and it's just it reminds me of like a Josephine Louis Vuitton, maybe I don't know. You got slots there, slip there, slots here, and it said as is. It was ten dollars and fifty cents, no tax, but there was like a lot of pen marks, and I was trying to get some of it off, and I did kind of get most of it off but these ones are a little being a little bit stubborn so I don't know if I can get those off but for $10.50 I don't care you can write all over my wallet if you want I might keep this or I might lot it with a coach bag if I get a coach bag to sell again I got this from a different Salvation Army I think the one by Polo Park closer to me maybe like 15 to 20 minutes and this was actually really really dark I tried I used my leather conditioner and cleaner on it so I did lighten it up a bit it's a fossil oh no wait I didn't get this from Salvation I got this from Plato's Closet my bad <laughs> I paid $15 for this minus 20% uh, because I had my coupon card and yeah it was really dark I cleaned it up with my leather conditioner and cleaner and I think it turned out really nicely and really good you know I love <laughs> I love fossil but uh, yeah I'm probably gonna keep this for now and then maybe if I get another leather bag I might like lot it with it we'll see but it's cute and it's nice and it's a fossil. fossil this one I got from Value Village near my house savers it's a Stella and dot snake print leather wallet I oh I actually um, allotted these together and it's currently at $20 the bid so yeah this one that yeah, was $7.99 plus tax and I looked online and I think these retailed for like 50 to 60 I think but it's in really good condition um, the leather is really nice a little bit of scuffing on the plate but nothing major it has the wristlet thingy and it's supposed to fit your iPhone 4 I think it was like back in the day but I mean you can use that compartment for something else now and it's cute and it's leather so what you gonna do about that yeah, this I found from where did I get this oh Plato's Closet on Regent and it's just a fake Gucci. I know, whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay. It's, <laughs> you know, I like to buy these for novelty purposes so I can actually show my, you know, my viewers to what a fake looks like sometimes. And I'm sure you know, but this one is a little bit, um, I don't know. The, uh, the outside is nice. It's not high quality though. It's just kind of like toy, like for a kid maybe, like maybe a teen. I don't know. And this feels very like papery. And the inside too like look at that it's not of any quality really I think I paid like $12 $10 for this whatever it is what it is I mean it's good for shits and giggles you know I mean if you're just gonna whatever use it for whatever then it's fine but you know I wouldn't walk into Gucci wearing this or anywhere else for that matter that people might uh you know what screw it rock it like it's 19.99 okay don't give up what anybody else thinks okay next are a bunch of lug bags i think okay these two i got from plato's closet on st james uh this one was 15 dollars, and i got 20 percent off it's just a lug skipper bag water resistant material purple which i hate that's why i'm going to resell it but it's in excellent condition this one i paid 13.50 after taxes and right now it's at $13 posted. I expect to get maybe like 20 for it. So not a huge uh, profit, but a profit nonetheless. You know, I'll get me my McDonald's with that money, okay? And then this one was actually a really good, uh, I paid 
$24.99 plus tax. So I think I paid like under $28, around $28. And oh no, wait, that's not right. Maybe like $24.99 minus 20% plus tax. So I think like $25. 5, 26 around there. Anyway, it sold for 50. No, it sold for, <laughs> all over the place. All right, it sold for 45. 45 it sold for, yeah. So, and these retail for like 60 plus tax. So, I mean, that person still got a deal. I love it because it has like a water bottle holder here. You know, it's really convenient and it's like a flap. And these are like, you know, lifestyle bags of people who go to the water park or the grocery store or, you know, who travel or, or whatnot. These are just great bags for that. Kind of like a mommy kind of thing, mommy bags or student ones too. There's lots of compartments and, or, and pockets inside. So, yeah, so I got a good... A profit off that and this one I paid same price actually $24.99 from Savers and it's the same thing but this is actually I think I think I think these are the older models because um, like the the labels like that and the newer ones like this one because they're these are the same model this doesn't have that anymore so it just has lug so I believe that this one is the older models which makes it more desirable and because it's gray you know 50 shades of gray <sighs> makes it more desirable um I was gonna decide to keep it but I think I'm gonna sell it and you know I hope to get about 40 for it too so yeah okay the last part of my haul is not a thrift haul, it's a Scentsy haul um, because I like Scentsy and if you don't know what Scentsy is and you want crack, no, I'm just kidding, Scentsy is like, um, they, they specialize in warmers and diffusers and they're, they make your house smell hella nice. So I wanted to show you what I got. I ordered this, I think this was like $40. It's a uh, ice cream cone. Scent uh, I know, I know what you're saying, fat bitch into ice cream, right? The Captain Obvious. <laughs> but it's really cute, and I'll open it up for you guys. I like their, their warmers because they have, um, they don't have any light or flame, so the risk of burning yourself alive is minimized. Um, but look at how cute that is. And then, yeah. And look at like the little cone. Like, look how cute this mocha is. Like, if you don't think this is cute, then freaking you don't have a heart or a soul. So cute. Anyway, you plug this in and then you put like the wax melts, like these things. I'll show you what I got. Like, you break a piece off of this and then you put it here and it melts and it basically makes your house smell like awesome, whatever scent you, you choose. Okay, so I got that warmer and then I got um, a bunch of, well, not a bunch, but these um, strawberry swirl melts. And then this is what you use to melt inside of the warmer. And yeah, this pretty much smells like strawberry swirl. It tastes like, it's, it tastes like, it smells like those candy strawberry swirls. So I guess the name is true to itself. I got two of those. And because these were actually on sale, I think they were like 10 to 15% off. And to go along with that, I got um, these. Actually, no, the, these two things I'm going to save because I'm going to put this in my travel essential video because I ordered a bunch of stuff from Amazon that I need when I go traveling. So I, I'm going to include these things in my travel essentials video. So you ain't going to see this one yet. And then I got this actually... I, I say this for last too because it's in conjunction with a warmer, but it's actually a thrifted item too. This warmer, this isn't um, uh, Scentsy and it's not Party Light. Those are the two popular warmer um, companies, you know, that compete. But I got this from Value Village and it was priced at $1.99, I know. And there's like no really name on it. And these warmers are different because there's like some warmers that have the light bulb and there's some warmers that are just an element and the element has no light bulb so it just heats on its own. The warmers have a light bulb and it kind of acts as a night light along as being a warmer, you know, aside from being a warmer. But I've used this already, like look at the, the, the wax is melted on there so you could reuse the wax and once you're done you just put a cotton ball in and it seeps it all up and then, you know, we throw it out and put a new a melt in but yeah this was a really good deal if I resold this I can probably resell this for like 10 15 dollars so I paid it all 99 plus tax so that's a really good deal but yeah and it's cute though I like it so I'm probably gonna keep it yeah so that's it for my thrift haul guys I hope you enjoyed it thank you for my new subscribe thank you for my new subscribers <laughs>
I want to thank people who are newly subscribed. I, I gained a bunch of new subscribers, so I appreciate that. I, I appreciate to people who comment. I try to comment back to everybody because I think that if you take the time to comment on my video, I should take the time to reply to you. Yeah, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. All my social media links will be on the down bar, my Snapchat, uh, Instagram, and Twitter, and my vlogging channel, Miss Philly TV. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to that and watch my Caught in the Rain grocery shopping video. <laughs> Should be over there. And I hope you guys are doing well. Please have a great rest of your week and a great upcoming weekend. And remember, Miss Philly loves you. Bye, guys.